you are watching 724 News Sonos Report TV. I am Aziz Kudradov. Getting winner with the main events of the day during our program. One of the directions of action strategy is reforming judicial and legal system. Strategy Development Center hosts a working session with professors at the School of Law of Boston College and University of Vermont. Within its framework, the experts told about the modern trends of legal education in the United States of America and the world in order to transfer their experience to representatives of public and educational organizations of Uzbekistan working in this direction. Experts list involved Christine McEvoy, professor at Boston College Law School, Kevin Curtin and Sharon Rich Paulson, head of staff, senior advisor to the president of University of Vermont, as well as Vincent Hugo, dean of Boston College Law School. Musha Serwa, director of regional dialect INGO, also participated with her speech. They shared their experience with local experts in the field of improving judicial and legal system. An agreement on further support was reached. Experts' opinions from Boston College's professor and university University of Vermont on the activities implemented within the framework of action strategy were presented. During the session, they talked about results and prospects for development of judicial and legal system within the framework of action strategy. Reforms in the field of personal training in this direction were made. Ministry of Justice hosts a roundtable, citizens' appeals, indicator of level of population, civil activity and legal cultural experience of Germany and Uzbekistan. Representatives of German Embassy, Frederick Ebert Foundation, Serge M. Becher, Head of National Forum's Coordination Office on Civil Activism of German Federal Republic, and other experts attended the event. The main purpose of the roundtable was the exchange of experiences between Uzbekistan and Germany in the field of citizen engagement and the legal culture of the population through improvement of work with appeals of individuals and legal entities. Foreign experts have called securing legal status to people and virtual receptions a unique practice, with no analogs in the world. According to them, this is an indication of a direct dialogue of the government with the people. The experts highly appreciated the measures being taken to establish a dialogue with the people in the activities of the Minister of Justice, Ombudsman of the Ali Maj List for Human Rights, the Chamber of Lawyers of Uzbekistan and other organizations. Effective use of country's hydropower potentially increasing the share of renewable energy sources in electricity production structure. Creation of new environmentally friendly production capacities are main priorities of country's development. Uzbek Hydro Energy Company organized a press conference that considered these issues. Activities of joint stock company, which contributes to the development of this industry, was on the focus of discussion. Today there are 36 hydroelectric power plants in the country, of which 25 do not meet the technical requirements, as the equipment and facilities are in need for reconstruction. 28 of them belong to Uzbek Energa, and the rest to the Minister of Agriculture and Water Resources. This in turn implies the need to ensure the integrity of the system. As noted at the press conference to resolve existing problems in the sphere, it is necessary to merge all hydro. This is the issue that the new organization will be engaged in. In the framework of the agreement on the construction of hydroelectric power station, it is planned to implement 31 investment projects worth some $3 billion. First and foremost, we are going to work on the first nine projects. The timely and qualitative implementation of the program of hydropower development for 2017-2021 will be entrusted to joint stock company Uzbek Hydroenerga. The implementation of planned objectives, the creation of the production organization, in particular the creation of a unified hydropower sector, will be the first step towards the successful development of the hydropower potential of the Republic of Uzbekistan. In a market economy, insurance is an effective tool for the reliable protection of property interests of the population, entrepreneurs, large enterprises and organizations, in turn informing the general public about the innovations in the insurance sphere, its role and importance in protecting life and health, is a significant component in increasing the population's insurance culture. Moreover, media plays a huge role in this. These issues were discussed in seminar training organized by Uzbek Invest National Export Import Insurance Company in conjunction with Public Fund for Support and Development of Independent Print Media and News Agencies. The seminar training was organized to enhance the knowledge of journalists in the field of insurance and increase the insurance culture of the population through the national media. Uzbekistan is paying a huge attention to the development of insurance, whose development is an important factor in the direction of deepening of structural transformations and diversification of economy, raising the levels of employment, income and quality of people's life. 30 insurance companies provide physical and legal persons more than 100 types of insurance services to date. These include insurance of health and property of citizens, the interests of small businesses 
businesses and private entrepreneurs. On example of the insurance company Uzbek Invest, journalists were given a detailed information about the insurance market development in Uzbekistan. Not every journalist can write in detail, tell about the nature of insurance in general. Especially it is important to know the knowledge of professional phrases. If information is interpreted incorrectly, it eventually can cause doubt to consumers about the provision of reliable services. Specialists of Uzbek Invest developed a model that allows the Internet users to learn the basics of insurance and test their knowledge online. Using the company's website, anyone can receive the necessary information about insurance. The unity of education and upbringing is an important factor in formation of harmoniously developed generation. Currently, more than 400,000 pedagogical personnel work in 9,680 secondary schools of the country. This and many other things were discussed at the press conference dedicated to the nationwide holiday, 1st October, Day of Teachers and Matters. It was noted that special attention is paid to the issue of attracting young and talented people to schools. Over the past three years, more than 25,000 young specialists graduated from higher education institutions in the country's general educational institutions. Participants also talked about developed mechanism for organizing the process of continuous professional development of leading and pedagogical cadres of the public education system. On their basis for the last period of 2017, more than 100,000 teachers have improved their qualifications. In information about changes in the education system, including that since 2017-2018 academic year, term of study in academic lyceums has been reduced from three to two years, was provided. This is stipulated by a resolution of the President dated September 26 on further improvement of system of candidates, targeted training for admission to higher educational institutions. This was all news for today. Watch the latest news on Uzreport TV. Thank you for your attention.